Today on Nerd Out, Jor Manager 6. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano. We break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're taking a look at uh, my stake pool management tool called Jor Manager, and it just released version 6. So let's jump into it. What is Jor Manager? Jor Manager is a community tool uh, for managing a stake pool on Cardano. It's, it's a GUI. It's run in the browser and also um, on a Linux node. I first started developing it back during the ITN, and it was designed primarily then to help with the node stability. So bringing nodes up and down as um, so that there's always a healthy node available to make a block. Um, then it evolved into more of a general purpose stake pool management tool once we got to Shelly Mainnet. And um, it also contains a very powerful embedded wallet that's useful for claiming pool rewards and man managing things in general. And that's really the, the main reason why there's a version 6 today is because of this wallet functionality. So what's new in Jor Manager 6? Uh, we have a new built-in ledger database for the wallet. Um, it's very similar to like a DB Sync Lite, except it doesn't track things like rewards. It only tracks just anything that's a Shelly address and a native asset. It doesn't do any of the rewards calculations or anything like that. We still talk to the node to get those, those bits of information for the wallet. Um, this move was necessary because as they move things out of memory and onto disk, uh, the query performance of the node has gotten very bad. So if I want to look up how much ADA, for example, is on a given address in node 1.32, um, that was very, very fast. In 133 and beyond, that got very, very slow. And so it got to the point where I couldn't query all of the addresses I needed to in the wallet before the next block arrived. And so... Um, those queries got slow, and so we have to do our own tracking of that now. So to do that, I implemented the block fetch mini protocol. So now the Jor Manager tracks the entire block and not just the block headers. The block headers were, were used for doing leader logs in Jor Manager, but we need the entire block if we're going to track where all the funds are in a ledger on, on the network. Uh, and also at the same time, I've implemented transaction chaining. So you can spend a UTXO before it's actually on the chain. So let's jump into a quick demo of it here. So this is Jor Manager on testnet. Um, version 6.0 is released. This is 6.01. I'm trying to fix a few last minute bugs, uh, minor things, but that'll be coming soon, maybe in a week or so. So. The Jor Manager wallet, you can spend from any of these um, wallet accounts into any other. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's send 100 ADA maybe from test funds to test funds too. So if we go here, we'll select our test funds too. Currently has nothing in it. And let's send 100 ADA over there. And we'll go ahead and say send. and you'll notice that it happens immediately. So that's what the transaction chaining does. We keep track of what we're spending, even though it's not actually on chain yet. So it, we see it subtracted here, we see it added here right away. And so before it even arrives in a block in this address, we can spend out of this address. So we could send it right back. Let's go back to test funds. and it goes right back. So even though there's two transactions, may or may not both be in blocks, we keep track of what's going to happen on the blockchain. And so that's that's really the, the big powerful feature in, in Jor Manager 6 is you can just, if you have you know a couple pools, you can claim them both one back to back, even if they're going to the same wallet. Um, you know, you can move tokens around very quickly and easily. It's, uh, it's just a very fast wallet, and then it will get eventual, eventual consistency 
with the blockchain. Now, unlike my Firehose tool, in this tool it's not guaranteed eventual consistency. We, we haven't implemented any type of um, resubmitting or rollback protection for transactions. But normally you're just going to do a couple transactions, um, maybe chain a few of them, and so if you know one of them doesn't complete, you can easily just go back in and, and redo that one. And so I haven't implemented anything super crazy in, in this, but that is Jor Manager 6. And again, this is um, open source. It's available. I'll have links below um, if you're a stake pool operator and want to switch over to something like this for managing your pool. Um, it, again, it wasn't the, the first, and it may not even be the best tool. It's just the one I built and, and the one I use. So um, check it out if you get a chance. And with that, nerd out.